Hi, I'm Stephanie, and in this video, I'd like to give you some tips on how to find pertinent information in the Tech Guide. Let's jump right in and start the Zeiss Quality Suite. You probably know that you can access the Tech Guide through the Zeiss Quality Suite. Please note that you need to be logged in to access the Tech Guide. If you don't have a Zeiss ID yet, please sign up. Think of the Tech Guide as your encyclopedia for metrology software and hardware. Thankfully, it comes equipped with a search field. If I want to know how to measure the top and bottom of my part, for example, I can simply type that in here. And I'll get a list of results on the left. On the right, you'll see a preview of the articles. Now you'll notice that the list on the left is divided into different categories. Best match, which might be exactly what you're looking for. Here, you can also see what product that article relates to. In this case, the GOMSCAN 1. Now, if that's not what you're looking for, a good place to start would be the search results under Get Started. In this case, all the links provided here lead to access points for different sensors. If you're looking to measure the top and bottom surface with a T-Scan Hawk 2, for example, you might want to start with the access point T-Scan Hawk 2. To get more information about the article, hover over the search result to see a preview on the right. Then there's a third category, function descriptions. Function descriptions provide the most detailed information about specific software functions. And finally, there's the category how to, which includes how to and introduction to articles. But more about that shortly when we take a look at the different types of articles provided in the ticket. Now, to refine your search, you can use the filter up here and common search techniques. Here are a few examples. If you're looking for a specific type of article, for example, a how-to article about GDNT, you can simply enter your search keyword and select the filter how-to. If you're looking for an exact phrase, you can use quotation marks to get more pertinent results. And you can connect your search keywords by using common operators, such as AND, OR, and NOT. For example, if I want to find out about the T-SkinHawk 2 calibration, I can simply connect the keywords with the operator AND. Please note that the operators must be written in capital letters. If you're just getting started, or looking for more general information on your products, check out the landing page of the Tech Guide. To start, I'd like to point out that you can select different software versions in the upper right corner here. So if you're working with GOM Software 2022, for example, you can select it here. But I'll stick to Zeiss Inspect 2023. Further down, in the section My Product, you'll find links to the access points for your products. Access points help you navigate the information that's provided for your product. Under what's new, you'll find information about all the new functions in the latest software version and a link to our update training, which is available in the Training Center. All right, let's take a closer look at the Zeiss Inspect access point. Like the name suggests, access points are designed to provide an entry point to get to know your system. For Zeiss Inspect, it links to an article about the software interface and gives an overview of the typical workflow in the software. You'll find lots of links to follow and read about each step in more detail. And you may have noticed that all the articles linked here are called Introduction to something. Introduction tos are the next layer of information. They provide insights into general software concepts and use cases like geometric dimensioning and tolerancing. And they link to how-to articles and function descriptions. How-tos describe specific workflows with prerequisites and step-by-step -step instructions. The workflows require the use of different software functions, which is why how-tos provide links to function descriptions. Sometimes you'll also find videos in how-tos and introduction tos. The last and most detailed layer of information are the function descriptions. Every software function has a function description that explains its use and parameters. Now, if you find articles that you want to come back to later, why not curate your own personal library? You can add articles to your favorites by clicking the star in the top right corner. 
To find all your stirred articles, simply click on Favorites. If you have feedback you want to share with us concerning a specific article, please use the Feedback button beside Favorites. We're always looking to improve the information we provide. Next, let's talk about navigating the tech guide. Instead of scrolling all the way through the article, let's use the table of contents to get more information about specific parameters. Simply click on the section you're interested in to display it. You'll always find the table of contents for the article on the right. On the left, you have a tree of all the available products. Under each product, you'll find a link to the associated access point and important articles. So feel free to browse here. And in case you haven't found it yet, there's a back button beside the article title. Through this tree, you can also access frequently asked questions, all the descriptions for new and changed functions, documentation for apps, and a complete list of all function descriptions. And if you want a recap of what the tech guide has to offer, simply click on introduction here. And lastly, you can, of course, access the tech guide directly through the Zeiss Inspect software, either by using the search field up here, which allows you to look for software functions and tech guide articles, or through any function dialog by clicking the question mark or pressing F1. Alternatively, you can also go to Help and then click Help and click on a software function to open the associated tech guide article. That's it for this short tour through the Zeiss Quality Tech Guide. Go ahead and explore. Maybe you'll find some interesting new information. And just in case you didn't quite find what you were looking for, head over to the forum to chat with our experts and fellow users, use the feedback button in the Tech Guide, or check out our training center where you can book classroom trainings and e-learnings. And for more hacks and tutorials, check out our YouTube channel, like and subscribe. See you next time.